Today's tactic video is a very special one. We're going to look through the origins of total football. Total football is a philosophy, a style of play that was that is largely attributed to Johan Cruyff. But in this session of, or in this video, we're going to go way back into history to see the inspiration behind Johan Cruyff's total football philosophy. Total football is a style of play that facilitates freedom of movement, ball possession, and maximum creativity amongst players. It's a philosophy that requires every player in each position to be able or to be versatile enough to play in every other person's position. The attackers defend and the defenders attack and the midfielders act as an engine room that drives the team forward. The philosophy was famous by your, was made famous by Johan Cruyff during his time in management, both with Ajax Amsterdam and FC Barcelona. But today's story is not about Johan Cruyff, it's about the man and indeed the people who taught him the philosophy, who inspired Johan Cruyff's total football philosophy. We turn our attention to the Hungarian team of the 1950s, famously known as the Mighty Magyars. For the five years, or the Mighty Magyars had a five-year unbeaten run in the international stage. The popular figure, one of the popular figures in the Mighty Magyars squad is the Real Madrid's legendary striker Ferenc Puskas. The Hungarian forward was an explosive forward with little freaky prowess that ripped defenses apart in the 1950s. Like all good teams, Puskas wasn't alone. Sandor Koksic played alongside Puskas in a 3-2-3-2 philosophy system. This was the core of the Mighty Magyar's philosophy and how they were set up. Sandor Koksic played alongside Ferris Puskas in attack, scoring many goals. The pair were a front two in a 3-2-3-2 system, centered around a patient possession-based philosophy used by Hungary. Total football. In midfield, Nando Hit Kuti, a creative attacker, played behind the front two as a blend between an attacking midfielder and a deep line forward. The number 10 served as a link between the midfield and the attack and also served as a base of the attacking triangle. The standout names in the Mighty Magyar's teams were Zoltan Tzibo, a winger with explosive shooting power, Joseph Bosik, a halfback that played as a deep line playmaker in the heart of midfield, Gula Grusic as the sweeper keeper. He played as a sweeper. He's one of the first sweeper keepers in football history. As stated earlier, the system is in total football is for the Mighty Magyars, for example, was set up in a 3-2-3-2 system, allowing for close proximity between players and easy ball movements. This formation created triangles in key areas of the pitch, allowing for easy transition between zones. To recreate the system in football manager, I began with a strange type of formation, deploying one central defender and two fullbacks as opposed to three natural central defenders. The system required two fullbacks to get up the pitch and do most of the defensive work as well as the responsibility of the central defender and the halfback was just to stay in position and be more defensive. In midfield, I started with two wingers on both flanks, but as, as the system continued to evolve throughout the season, I changed to wide midfielders that I realized they were more creative and they were more, they had better ball retention and creativity, just, and they were not just there for crossing. In midfield, I did start with the central midfielder and a deep line playmaker, but then I realized we were quite porous. And then the defensive, the central defender, the one central defender was always left alone. He's still exposed at this point, but I noticed we, were, we had better results using the register and then the halfback to help out the central defender. In the attacking midfield position, I used an attacking midfielder on attack duty. And then I know at first I used a deep line forward on attack, but then I realized I had a player that was good in. I had a good attacking midfielder, so it's just to stick with this one player. And then he also, using the deep line forward, they, they became a big gaping hole in this space between the attackers and then the midfield as well. So I had to bring this attacking midfielder right back to his try and stay in here and then play as a connector between the attack and then the register that also gets forward. In attack, I stuck with two strikers, at advance forward on attack and then the poacher on attack. To build a patient possession based style of play, I included short passing for most of my players. But then that's due to team internal instructions and we're going to get to the reason why i'm going this detailed into the video because first of all let's look at the team instructions then the team instructions i had the team press a lot higher because i wanted to win the ball back early there's a problem with using such high pressing we were really really exposed at the back so that caused a lot of problems and i'm going to show you sooner in the video we engaged a good press, much more urgent, and then we also asked the team to mark title. But then I took this off and I realized my players were easily drawn out of position. So going into transition, then in transition, the team was asked to counter press and then to counter. And then the goalkeeper was instructed to distribute the ball to the center back or to the two full backs. And he was asked to take short kicks. 
and this also helped us retain a lot of possession defensively ideally we noticed we didn't give the ball away in our defense too much we kind of lost the ball higher up the pitch which caused the counter-attack to actually um, leave us for dead and then that's how we started conceding goals but ball retention from the defensive line was quite good our players actually kept the possession well from playing out from the back so that kind of worked out for this tactic player from defense if you go into in possession phase now player to defense is also turned on and the team has been asked to pass it shorter with standard tempo the attacking width is fairly narrow and then the team has also been asked to walk the ball into the box and the team has also like the total football agrees to be more expressive and be more creative when they have the ball with all that done, let's go over where all the problems started. Looking at the team competition then, Hornweg were predicted to finish, I think, 4th on the table or 5th, thereabout. They were predicted to finish 4th or 5th. And then the team that is actually predicted to finish 1st was Ferenc Svavos. Ferenc Svavos are ideally the best team in the land alongside Fehava. Fehava and Ferenc Svavos are the two top teams in Hungary. So, in the previous season, because I've already finished the first season, so... We, this is the results that we had for this season. We had a good friendly and then we lost to FC Cologne, but it was a close game as well. So that's why I actually ended up doing this video. Ideally, I would call this tactic set up a dismal failure, but then I realized that it could have been better if we are actually using a better team. So I ended up testing the tactic with a team that it's, with a team that has better quality to see if we're going to get better results. Because it, from what I was watching when I was using the tactic, it looked like the tactic was working, but the players weren't good enough to execute the tactic. So as I was using it with Hunvet, Budapest Hunvet in Hungary, trying to recreate the tactic with them, they had fairly good results. We won 34 now. Then we kept on losing games, like a game against Grimot. We were not supposed to lose this game because they are one of the weakest teams in the land. But it was an away game and then we lost 2-0. And then we won in the cup and then we won Drebakan also 3-1. So it was kind of like a an up and down season. We lost 6-4 to Ferenc Wawas. And then went on the following see the following week to win 4-0 and 3-0. So that's after conceding four goals, we kept a clean sheet twice. And then we won three games on the spin. And then there came the draw again. So the, the tactics sort of fell apart towards the end of the season. We got big victories once in a while. We beat Puskas at the um, Academia that beat us 4-0 before. Using the same tactic, we kind of got a win past them 3-2. Even though they were leading 2-1 at the point. But then at this after the 7-1 victory and then we lost respect and pass and then lost the Ferenc Vavos again that was where everything just went south and then we lost five games on the spin normally i could have cancelled the save and cancel uh, gotten frustrated i was actually getting frustrated and then there was the game against puskas academia again this was actually a very close game because we were leading 4-3 at a point and then they had two set pieces and then they kind of won the game 5-4 but it shows that our defense was quite open towards the end of the season. We had a few wins here and there, but it wasn't enough to try and get us as high as we were supposed to finish. So we finished lower than possible. And that's how the tactic ended up working badly for Budapest 100. So I took the tactic to Juventus to try and test it out to see if an elite team could be able to have better results with the tactic. And I'm going to show you what happened when I used Juventus. So we're here with Juventus on the 16th of May 2022. So the season is far spent. And the next game that we have is against Fiorentina. So with Juventus, I, I sort of took the tactic a bit to try and match the quality that they have. Um, looking currently at the tactic so far, we can see this is the setup that I used to execute the tactic with Juventus. I tweaked using or I changed the wide midfielders to wingers as it should have been and then i changed the full backs from support duty to complete wing backs on support duty i did retain the goalkeeper as a super keeper on support but then i changed the central defender to a ball playing defender on the defense that's just to also match the quality of juventus in central midfield i did keep the the register and the halfback because i noticed why i'm using halfback is because the ball playing defender would need help in defense so before we go over the player and team instructions for Juventus, let's look at the result that they had and how shaky their season probably could have been because I haven't really gone through it in detail. So looking at the competitions then, Juventus are currently fourth. From my guess, I think they're pretty good to finish second, but then Roma, Inter and Lazio probably have better seasons. But what stands out for us as we can see from Juventus is that Juventus has scored more goals than the other top three teams. Roma has 26 goal difference. Inter has 47 and Lazio has 54 so again a lot of goals for Juventus and probably because they've lost more games than they should so they've lost six games in all competitions and then Roma the team above them have won 
have lost 10 and Juve probably drew a lot more games than I expected them to draw. So going into the team stats then, we can see that Juventus have bagged 109 goals in the league alone. That's an outstanding amount of goals for one team to score in, and for a team to score and not be first, right? But they've scored the amount this high. They've scored more goals than the team that are in second. So Juventus have scored 109 goals and then they've had high possession as well. So they've been controlling games and then they've been scoring a lot of goals. But then with the amount of goals that they've scored, I expected that they're going to concede if a couple of goals too. So in the teams conceded, in the least conceded, I don't see, I don't expect to see Juventus in the top 10 or in the top 8. So they're currently 13th with 55 goals conceded so as much as they score a lot of goals the tactic will get you goals but you if you're not careful defensively you will concede a few so that's the way and looking at the amount of shots they've had the most shots 667 so the tactic dominates in attack and with the tweaks i made i expected them to be more adventurous in more in more attacking areas so that's the way the tactic is looking at the player stats then we can see just how the players did the highest goal scorer in the league is Dusan vlahovic with 40 goals and then probably the Play. he's had the most player of the match right he's had like 14 player of the matches that's two times the player that is second so this tactic actually gets the best out of your players as well pass completion goes to atalanta but then leonardo bonucci is there with 98 percent passing completion as well so possession based the tactic has a high amount of possession so we've gone through the player start then and then we've seen how what the tactic did so by the way i'm going to also attach this version of the tactic so you can edit the tactic for yourself and see how you can make them concede less goals that looks like some that looks like a big ask to be honest with the way this tactic is set up we're going to attach the tactic in the description down below so you can download it for yourself and see how you can make the tactic better so we're going to go through the player instructions in detail and we're going to go into the team instructions as well and then we can wrap up the video once we're done with the team instructions but that's basically how i created the mighty magia's 3232 system and then tested it out with Juventus on an elite level and that's how they did well after 37 games they did not win the league but they did score the highest amount of goals by a distance in the Italian Serie A so we always begin with the player instructions right starting with the goalkeeper the goalkeeper has one instruction pass it shorter retain possession in right back we have a complete wing back on support duty with three instructions pass it shorter close down more and mark tighter and the wing back on the left hand side has identical instructions with the wing back on the right hand side the ball playing defender has two instructions pass it shorter mark tighter the half back that is in defensive midfield position has pass it shorter and mark tighter the regista is the only player that i know i did not want to ask to pass it shorter because he's going to be the playmaker in the team so his instruction is just simple pass it to close down more and mark tighter in attack we have two wingers on either side the left and the right the winger on the left hand side has pass it shorter take more risks cross on the byline run from positions close down more tackle harder and mark tighter and then the winger on the right hand side has identical instructions take more okay i'm not going to go right again well the attacking midfielder in this the number 10 role the attacking midfielder on the tack duty has take more risks room from positions move into channel close down more and mark tighter the two strikers ideally i wanted them to have identical instructions but then i realized that both players actually play differently vlahovic is going to be expected to dribble so i don't know how well his dribbling is but dribble more is an instruction that i attached for this striker because their ferris puskas in the 1950s was a very good dribbler so i included the dribble more instruction for the for the advance forward alongside pass the shoulder take fewer risks run from position and close down more take fewer risks is important because i want him to think about the poacher that is beside him if you can actually square a pass to him if he can't then he can actually go for goal but that's what the fewer risk instruction is there for so the poachers instruction are pass each other and run from position and close down more now for the team instructions then i did make some changes so i'm going to go over the instructions looking at the out of possession instruction the the defensive line is now standard and then the higher line of higher line of engagement and then standard defensive line defensive width is now standard as well i kept a lot of things blank as you can notice from the previous tactic maybe i should attach the previous tactic as well to the download link anyway looking at the team's pressing i asked the team to press much more often and then also prevent short goalkeeper distribution the marking tighter instruction isn't there because i noticed this actually drags your players everywhere so i know i included it before in the home vet save but i realized it's much safer to not use type marking so i won't have my fullbacks dragged out and then my ball playing defender is going to be left alone so then in transition we have counter press and counter that seems to work well for this tactic because we have a lot of players in attack so we can actually ask my players to counter press once the possession has been lost we have a lot of players to win the ball back early so 
the goalkeeper's instruction are to distribute it to the fullbacks and to the center back as well also he's going to do that by taking short kicks that actually helps us retain possession so in possession then the team has been asked to play with the narrow width in attack that way we know we have wingers but we can actually compress and then create a lot of have a lot of players in the attacking third the passing directness is shorter with a lower tempo the team then has also been asked to play out of defense in case the goalkeeper didn't get it in his own instruction i also included in the team instruction play out of defense and then the team has also been asked to play with a lot more creativity and then walk the ball into the bus there isn't much dribbling in the tactic i included a winger and a complete wing back on support duty all of them are on support duty right so there is no need to tell my players to run a defense once more those players by default their instruction is going to ask them to dribble a lot more so i did not include the run defense instruction for this tactic so basically guys that's a summary of the budapest hunt 3232 system that i created to try and represent total football in football manager 2022 I get that is a tactic that might not be used recently because I think it worked in, 90, in the 1950s but it's going to be shaky to try and get it to work now so it's that's probably a test that you guys can actually try and see if you can get it to work but so far so good that's the amount of results I got I managed to get Juventus to score 109 goals before the season was over even though we did not win the league which is shaky because I think in the next season we should win the league at some point so that's basically how the tactic worked out guys remember to leave a like for this video if you found it quite interesting and also to subscribe to the channel because I normally make videos like this for teams that are somewhat forgotten the team in essence today was Budapest Hornvets because they are the original owners of the total football system right so that's not the team I made the video for and then I had to test it with Juventus to see how it worked out so I will catch you guys in the next video